this week's edition with Bloombox Co. We're going to put together this week's recipe that's just been delivered to you in your box. We have the most delicious, soft toned, seasonal, pink, yummy, scrummy box this week. Let's take a closer look. The foliage element this week is the spinning gum. It's a fantastic eucalyptus. We're also going to work with the sedum. Now sedum is a fantastic, or I'd like to call it a flower foliage. We've got the most amazing colored asters. Just take a look at these. We've got chamomile. The chamomile is going to dance among this recipe this week and it's going to add gorgeous little individual little flowers just in between the recipe. And for a bit of pop of colour and a bit of fun we have the fantastic Sim Carnations. Let's get busy and put this all together. Awesome! So let's put together this week's arrangement. We've gone through and had a look at the varieties. We just need to now do some conditioning of the stems to open up the surface area so they're going to drink and rehydrate because they've been on a pretty big trip from our growers. We're now going to work with some of the finer elements. I would like to next play with um, the sedum. Now the sedum is part of the succulent family. So these individual leaves, would you believe, you can actually propagate. So let them harden, they'll form some little roots and then you can pop them in the ground and this time next year, you might have your own um, field of sedum or garden of sedum. They just need a quick trim on their bottoms. They've got quite a thick, um, a thick stem. If there's any little leaves that are going to sit below the water level, just, just pick them off with your hand, just gently, and uh, yeah, put them in amongst the fantastic spinning gum. Next, we're going to work with the asters. Now, the asters have got quite a big, thick stem running down the middle, but there's heaps of stems that run along either side of that main stem. So we can be a little bit clever and remove just easily some of those stems off the bottom and you basically end up turning that stem into multiple pieces that you can then in turn give more um, oomph to your arrangement. Give the stem a quick trim and in it goes. Give the stem a little twist if you're finding it's a little bit hard to get in amongst the other flowers. And giving the vase a little turn whenever you put a new variety into a vase will help you create really nice symmetry in this week's recipe vase. We're going to now work with the Sim Carnations. Again, give the stems a quick trim. I'm going to insert the Sims just amongst the other flowers again. The sim carnations can be a little bit brittle on their stem, so make sure you're gentle with your positioning and just naturally go with the curve in the stem to position it in your vase. Now last but not least, one of my most favourite flowers, which is the chamomile. So the chamomile for this week's recipe is going to dance amongst the other flowers. So with your conditioning this week of the um, chamomile, you just want to remove any of the soft foliage that's not that's um, not required. Chamomile foliage doesn't have amazing vase life, but the little flowers at the top, yeah, do. So again, making sure you're very gentle with positioning the chamomile amongst the flower, the other flowers, because their stems just need a little bit of protection as they can be quite fragile. And in it goes. And there you have it. That's this week's beautiful box that we've called on Thursdays. We do pink. Have a great week.